and we are back again. Sorry I've been wearing the same shirt but I decided to do a couple of videos so I hope you don't mind me wearing the same shirt. These are short videos but I want to cover everything since we are already in the next month on May and we're still not done with the videos from April. So let's get into the last two videos and one of them is going to be the $10 boxes for the month of April so if you like in or are interested in a really brief review and which one was my favorite keep on watching this is uh, for the month of April 2018 all the $10 boxes that I got beauty boxes that I got so um, I get uh, four boxes two of them are Ipsy and then I get um, Birchbox and I get Sephora Play so let's get into this video. The first one is Make It Snappy from Sephora that we got. And um, I got obviously the little magazine. We have um, the Elizabeth James Nirvana, which was really, really nice smelling perfume. We got the lip thing. Let's see. I keep on forgetting. I get so many boxes that by the end of the month, I have no idea. Oh, the lip shine thing. Um, looks like that. This is the one we got. Um, what else? And it fell. We have this, which is uh, two little samples of ferulic and retinol wrinkle recovery peel. Uh, we have... Uh, three more things well uh, we have this makeup forever ultra HD perfecter we have the purity philosophy this is a moisturizer and all of these I actually talk more in the actual video this is just like what I got and if I liked it or not uh, and then this is skill super strength line reducing concentrate uh, with vitamin C so it's not a bad box. I I'm just don't know how I actually feel about it. Like, I mean, it's really, really a lot of things that are high-end and, you know, I would like to try. So I would recommend anybody trying a $10 month box that concentrates in makeup and skincare. This one would be a good um, um, sort of way to go. And we have Ipsy, one Ipsy two. I do get a lot of makeup there. Rarely something like, you know, a scrub or like a face mask. But in one of the boxes, I got something on eyeshadow, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. I have the lip thing that I'm wearing right now. I know it looks redder, but it's not. It's more on the brownie side. Um, I got the liquid glow. I have Pearlis Coconut Oil and Coffee Grounds for the body scrub. And then I got a little brush for your eyes. And in the other bag, I got some of repeats as well. Um, I have a clay mask, uh, self-warming clay mask, which is really interesting and I want to try out. I have the same brush, which was one of the repeats. I got a blush that I'm wearing. I got a lip thing that I was wearing, so keep on the lookout for Ipsy makeup that I am going to do. This is the this is really nice. It has a very good texture. And then I have the other repeat, which we can never have enough of uh, coffee ground and coconut oil. So I'm happy that I got another body scrub. The brush, obviously, I'm not going to use it. We're going to have uh, a giveaway when I get to 100 subscribers. Hopefully, that's soon. Um, planning on doing maybe more than one because I have a lot of repeats so that we will see um, and that's about it for Ipsy and then the last one I do get is $10 as well and it's Birchbox I used to get um, Ricky's Cult Crushes but um, not only that I was always having a problem with um, the delivering thing and etc etc but uh, now they want to uh, increase the price to $15 a month, which I thought that it wasn't worth. So I just never renew it. That's how it ended. Um, for Birchbox, we get like this little magazine. We have conditioner, shampoo, um, which if you know me, I'm not really interested in that sort of thing. Um, Multi-active drawer, SPF 20. Sorry, there we go. 
we have this Jane Ardale little lip sample, which was really cute, but very small as well. We have this Ayoko Skinny Liquid Eyeliner in black. And the last thing is a Brilliant Brightening Facial Scrub, which I'm probably going to put in my shower because that's where I do my facial scrubs. I don't know about you guys, but I always do that. Um, for this box, I'm going to tell you right away that I'm eliminating the Birch Box as one of my favorites um, this month just because I didn't like the the fact that it came with um, shampoo and conditioner even though like many people like it I don't I don't like that I do like the uh, the eye thing which I have a ton and I mean I like this little sample but it was too small so this month it's not going for me so I'm gonna put it away um, as you know Ipsy is always a winner, but this month I feel like it wasn't as good as other months. So it's going to be on the outs as well. So let's see. The last one that is left with is Sephora. This month I think Sephora gets a win just because it had a little bit of everything. It had the um, this one, which is uh, makeup, which I liked. This one was for wrinkles. I know it's samples, but still, like, it's something different. Um, then we have this thing, which is, uh, what was it? Moisturizer for the face. Then we have the eye. Um, this is a powerful strength line reducing concentrate, which is a good brand as well. Then we have the lip thing and the perfume. So this month, for me, Particularly, I think this is the best that I got for the $10 a month box. But uh, if you do feel that it's not what you think, please leave me a comment below. And I hope to hear from you guys. And I hope you come back and see more of my videos. I will see you later, guys. Bye.